Prescription drug fraud in South Carolina is a circumstance that is on the rise, unfortunately. And it detrimentally affects a great many people, uh, including folks who their profession can be imperiled by virtue of an accusation or allegation of prescription drug fraud. Hi, my name is Sam Tooker. I'm an attorney in Greenville, South Carolina, and I'm here to talk to you about how it is that prescription drug fraud can negatively impact folks in this state. We often see allegations of prescription drug fraud uh, as it relates to folks who work in the medical field or medical profession. Uh, there are allegations oftentimes um, of nurses or other medical professionals using prescription pads to fraudulently uh, write prescriptions for uh, themselves or for loved ones or for third parties who then use those fraudulent prescriptions to obtain medications that they, they should not be authorized to obtain. Now, this is problematic for any one of a number of reasons. Of course, everybody recognizes the, the opioid ec epidemic in this country and how negatively it is that opioids are impacting our, our communities. Um, but on an individual level, folks who are accused of committing these crimes, particularly medical professionals, uh, don't have to worry just about the prosecution and potential penalties associated with a conviction. They have to worry about how it is that the accusation and potential conviction can impact their ability to practice their profession. By way of example, a nurse who is accused of writing prescriptions to a third party, giving those fraudulent prescriptions to the third party, and then having the um, opiates that are obtained with the third party ends up prosecuted by DHEC uh, and, or charged by DHEC and prosecuted by the solicitor's office. That person has then not only uh, put themselves in a position whereby they are in jeopardy of the penalties associated with the crime, but also the penalties associated with the uh, LLR board's decision with regards to their license. And almost invariably, there are suspensions and potentially revocations of licenses to practice in particular fields. So folks who are accused of committing those crimes have to be real careful about what they do and what they say, both with law enforcement and with the solicitor's office, in as much as um, inculpatory statements, statements that make more likely that they were in fact committing fraud, make more likely that their license could be suspended and or revoked by virtue of those decisions. So anytime somebody gets called by DHEC, called by county sheriff's office, called by SLED, called by some law enforcement agency as it relates to uh, prescription drug fraud, they need to talk to a lawyer immediately. Um, they do not need to go into an environment with law enforcement where they could potentially imperil themselves or their license uh, without first having communicated what's going on to an attorney. If you find yourself in that position, you want to talk to somebody, please give me a call. Phone number is 864-271-2636. I'll be happy to talk to you about what's going on, uh, happy to talk to you about whether or not you should communicate with law enforcement, and happy to defend you in the event that you find yourself charged. Thanks.